Picking all over, picking up clover. Yet they've not been fully. I've been searching. I always wanted a daddy. Someone who would pick me up, comfort me, hold me, make me feel secure. A strong man of stature who would terrify anyone who made me afraid. But there was no daddy for me. No male security blanket to lay beside, on, or under. My security became 71st Street, and all of its male characters played a role. I made brothers and dads. I formed my own sense of security and wrote my own set of rules. I loved the block and the block loved me. In 1985, I moved to 72nd and Everhart. I was small, brown, with two ponytails and a dream. I don't know where this dream came from, but it was there. I felt it and it wasn't quenched. And when light skin was in, I thrived. I either suppressed the feelings or just didn't care about that stereotype. See, I loved me and I was happy. But at night, I was afraid of the dark. I mean, I was terrified. I would say my prayers, but really didn't understand the security that God was providing for me. No daddy, no male figure, no male presence. He wanted me to know him as Abba at age five. Boy, did I have a long way to go. But God was always there, protecting me, covering me, comforting me, being the security that I so often desire. Today, someone needs to know Abba, God as Father. We've lived after or in favor of our flesh for way too long thinking that certain people could satisfy our desire or need for a father figure. And those who grew up with a father figure or male influence in their lives may have placed a little too much value on that individual. Check out Romans chapter 8 verses 12 through 15. It talks about how we don't have to be slaves to our flesh any longer. Because if we keep living for what feels good, it's eventually going to catch up with us and it's not going to be pretty. But if we do what's right, which in turn may or may not feel so good, then we become children of God. Not to fear God, but to receive his comfort, peace, and protection. All the things that he wants us to have as his children. After all, Father knows best. <laughs> Bless you guys. Now, uh, let's get to some makeup. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Maya. Welcome to the room. I'm in the room. Hey, we in the room, hey. y'all. What's up, you guys? This is the grand episode. Season two coming at you. I'm in here with my sister-in-law, Miss Nikki, and you know how we do it. We are doing a nip tuck with a brush today. So here we go, y'all. Come on in the room. Come on, everybody. We're gonna just talk about some stuff today. You know, Nikki is um pretty classic <laughs> because she married my brother, so. Anybody who marries him is got issues. That's what you're well, should be blessed tremendously. I need to pray for you. Yes, we're gonna all pray for her. She's <laughs> married to Junior Andy. We all know and love Junior Andy, and this is his wife. So, welcome, welcome, y'all. Come on, come on, come on in the room. I hope you all enjoy season two. I have so much stuff prepared for you guys. It's just gonna be awesome. So, let's get started with la makeup. All right. So, of course, you know that we love to start off with brows. Because if you don't have brows, then what are we doing in our lives? You know, what's, what's really going on without brows? So, 
You all know I like to put my own arch in the brow. If you do not have an arch, I definitely will create you one. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to use this color right here. As you can see, I've been using it quite often. So we will go in with our small angle brush and we're going to start forming her brow. Alright. So Miss Nikki, what has really been going on with you? Well, since the last time. <laughs> since the last episode. I've been trying to stay alive, Mary, to your brother. Yes, I understand that. You just call me anytime and we'll have prayer. <laughs> we'll have deep, emotional, gut-wrenching prayer. Can you just stay in the room? Can you? No. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Love them to death, but Sarah, no. But you guys bike though, right? You guys bike. He bikes. I follow. Well, <laughs> but you're getting a bike. That's what you told me. Yes, I'm getting a fat boy. Well, what is That's that? not another man. It's a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> I'm not cheating on him. That's okay, the name yes, of bike. let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> now, what kind of bike is that? It's Harley Davidson, but it's like a, um, it's a cruiser. Oh, okay. And so it's, it's one of those big ones. It's not really that big, but it's something that I can handle. Well, for a big girl. No. Oh, okay. But, uh, well, what should I get? I want something. Okay, do relax you, your brow. Don't, uh-uh, no. <laughs> do you want to go fast, or you just mm -mm, want to cruise? I want to cruise. Cruise. Mm -hmm. Get my bike. Oh, Johnny said we can get a bike one day. A bike. He said we have to be older. Just one bike? No. <laughs> no, we're going to get more than one bike. Okay, wait. So, pause for bikes. So, we're going to go with the concealer. You all know last season I was supposed to fulfill my concealer palette. I haven't done it, so no judgment. Um, but I'm going to do it like on a tutorial so everybody can see how I'm going to do it. But this is my concealer palette. So it's just really a mess right now. But we're going to fix it up. We're going to make it look much better than it looks. But we're going to go in with a shade that is a couple of shades lighter. Now we're just using this for the underbrow, okay? Using it for right under the brow to shape the brow and also provide a highlight, all right? We're not going to use that color on top because that's going to just be very hard to blend and we definitely do not like a halo brow. Halo brow is disgusting and it makes me want to puke. <laughs> so, we're going to use that color I just showed you and we're going to start forming out the brow. Now, I usually have people be a little quiet because, you know, when we talk, we like to express and raise brows and such but honey we don't want to raise anything right now because that will definitely mess up what we have going and we do not want to mess anything up honey we want to nip tuck with our brush honey and give her that beautiful glamorous Hollywood look okay so that's our intentions right now so, if you are doing, you know, your client or if you're doing yourself, you want to make sure that your brow is extremely relaxed so that it will be in the right state for shaping. Because we don't want you to get excited and say something and then your brow goes up and oh my God, all of a sudden you have just this really ridiculously high brow. That is just not cute. So, these are the parts required on brows, lips, and eyeliner. And those are the parts. But anywho, come on in the room. I know y'all still coming in the room, honey. Come on in. We are excited to have you here. Season two, we've made some changes. We are actually working on the room. The construction of the room is going to be different. Um, my husband is getting it together, you all. So, he is forming out the room. Okay, so now what we're going to do is begin to use a color that's closer 
to her actual skin tone. Yes, all gone from down here. So I'm going to use a little bit. Uh-oh, at the top. As long as I don't hit you in the face, we good. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little bit at the top and just smooth it out on the bottom. You want to make sure that your application brush is nice and thin. You don't want a bulky application. You want a nice, thin, perfected application, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start shaping the top of the brow. Now remember, this is like the, you know, this is the, you're at the point of no return when you do these brows, okay? Your brow has to be perfect. So if you want a nice skinny brow, you can go in um, to your color a little bit. And if you want a fuller brow, you just take it up a little bit more. Now people ask, why do you, you know, pull the foundation up at the top? I pull it up at the top it's because it's easier for me to blend, okay? So I want to make sure that my job is easy when I start blending it, okay? So then we have a nice, beautiful, perfected brow because that is the goal. Like I said, if the brow ain't right, what are you doing, baby? What you doing, baby? What you doing? You're not live, baby, if your brow not right, baby. Okay. You like that. <laughs> You like that, babe? I know you do. So we're going in with the same color, and we're just going on the other side and getting it right together. I know you guys are also pressing that young share button. You know we have to um, make sure that we share because, as the children say in this household, sharing is caring. Not that they abide by that much, but that's what they say, especially when you have something that they want. Okay. Sorry if I'm in you all's way. I have to make sure that I am getting this brow perfect. Okay. That front part, honey. I have to make sure it is in there. And perfected. All right, Nikki, we're going to release you to talk in five, four. No, but okay. All right. There we go. So we have some beautiful perfected brows. Right now it is on and popping. Now y'all want to share because y'all see them brows are perfected. Y'all like, oh my gosh, she did do them brows. Let me go ahead and share. Let me share because them brows are beat. I know I hear y'all. I can hear y'all say it. Why well, y'all still coming on into the good old room? Okay, so we are... We are going to also use concealer for her lids. We're going to use concealer. No, we're not using a paint pot or a base or anything like that. Our concealer is going to provide the perfect base for us. So, we're going to go ahead and use the same concealer that I used for her highlight, okay? And we're going to get a nice amount on the brush. Same brush, same application brush, okay? And we're going to have you look down. And we're going to begin to apply the concealer. On the lid. Okay. People use paint pots, bases, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine. I'm not dissing the base. But I'm just saying if you have some concealer, go ahead and work with it. You know? What's the difference? The difference is, is, okay, if you have really, really oily lids, then no, you might not want to use a concealer. But you, you could use a concealer because you could just uh, put a little powder over it um, to go ahead and uh, make it more of a mattifying um, option. But people like to use um, bases or paint pots um, because sometimes they don't have as much oil content in them. So, you know, if they feel like they really have oily lids, then I will suggest, you know, then maybe you need to buy a primer or something like that. But, I mean, I've been doing this method for over almost 20 years, so, mm -hmm. you know, so, and, it, and it's worked. And I haven't had any complaints, and my girls look A1 at the end of the night. And that's all I care about. As long as you're looking A1 at the end of the night, we good. All right. I'm going to take this fluffy blender brush and I'm going to begin to just kind of 
make sure that um, everything is uh, nice and blended or thin. I made a nice thin coat. I don't want anything too thick because the thicker it is, then the more it will begin to crease. So I'm just basically patting, okay? Patting it out, making sure that everything is nice and smooth on the face, okay? So if you do put too much and it starts to crease, can you fix that? Or yeah, if, if you put too much on and you haven't put your powder on yet and you see that it is creasing, then yes, you want to go ahead and like I'm doing, you know, even if it's, if it's way too much, you can even take you a paper towel and um, begin to um, just pat it off. So, I mean, it's no big deal. You know, remember, it's only makeup. So, trial and error, trial and error. Everything happens by trial and error. If you mess up, just wipe it on off and start again. <laughs> Is that a Leah song, dust it on off? <laughs> At first, you don't succeed, honey. Just dust yourself off and try again. Okay, so, I'm going to do um, a nice, beautiful look. Um, a more natural look with, a, like, a um, cut crease. So, you all can see... Um, you know how we're doing okay so going back into another one of my little used up palettes um, I think today we are going to go in with this color here it's a light tan color and I'm gonna have to go go all around the sides of it because I am that person who uses every last drop no I'm not throwing it away is this empty does this look empty to you? No, it's not empty. It's stuff all on the sides of there. And you get that stuff out with your brush, okay? You pay for it. Honey, don't be wasteful. Waste not one not, honey. Ain't that how it go? I think so. So my cousin had this dog. And I'm telling you, I know that dog was good and full. Like every night. Because, look down. She sat right by the door. And baby, if that dog didn't get that food at the end of the night... You know he did. Okay, so keep looking down so I can see it's creasing a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just buff it out. No big deal. So we just buff it. And then we just go in and pat. You see, I'm not doing windshield wiper motions. I'm applying. So I'm patting, okay? And I'm not going to go all the way over on the lid. I'm just going to go like halfway. Make sure you get that little inner corner. And you want to base the whole eye because, you know, color sticks everywhere. We want to make sure everything is nice and even. We don't want some places where it's darker or lighter because we didn't base everywhere. So we want to make sure we're getting a good base on there. So what's, when you said the windshield wiper motion, what is that? So like a windshield wiper is like back and forth. So is that bad? Well, just when application, I don't think you should do windshield wiper when you're doing application. Uh -huh. um, padding works. It just helps the product to stick and adhere to the eye. So, okay. And then on the other side, I can see we have a little creasing. So I'm just going to buff that out before I apply. The reason why you don't want to apply um, while it's creased is because you're going to be able to see that crease line. But when you set it with the powder, which is what we're basically doing, because to let you know, every um, cream or liquid, you want to set it with the powder. Some um, products are cream to powder or liquid to powder, but for the most part, you want to just, you know, make sure, you know, you want to double you don't know how some products are going to work on your skin. Okay, even though it says cream to powder, it may never actually uh, formulate into that powder because your skin might not, you know, it might be too oily or whatever. So you always want to just make sure if you're not using like a foundation powder, you, you want to use a mineral powder. As you know, now we're using a shadow. So it's like an eye powder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but you just want to make sure that you're setting your liquids and your creams with powders because that's going to reduce or prevent creasing okay yep so we just want to go halfway because we don't want a muddy effect a muddy effect is 
If I went all the way over with this color and then I decided to put on a dark color, no, it would be no good. It would look horrible. It would look very muddy. So what I do is stop halfway and then I begin to go in with my deeper color. So I'm going to take um, a clean blender brush. It looks like it has color on it, but that's just because this really hot pink would just not come off and, <laughs> you know, like whatever. Okay, but I'm going to go in with this color here. All right, it's like a medium to dark burgundy. It's not a really deep burgundy. It's just like a medium burgundy. And I'm going to begin to build color, okay? So we'll get deeper, but for now, we're just going to start with this color, okay? And I'm going to just go right in the crease of the eye, the outer corner crease of the eye. And I'm going to form it into like a V-shape, okay? This is going to form the eye. She already has a nice almond-shaped eye. I got a nice eye. You got nice eyes, girl. She has a nice, like, lid. It doesn't, like, leave you. You know, some lids leave. <laughs> and you're like, oh, my God, where'd your lid go? Now I just did all my work for no reason at all. It's called a hooded lid. We'll get to hooded lids. We'll um, do somebody with a hooded lid. But right now we're just doing a nice, basic, simple creased eye okay and as you can see I'm going all the way to where the first color was I'm not going up into her um, brow highlight because I want to leave that there so we can actually have a highlight okay so I'm gonna probably just do um, three colors on her lid because I'll go in with the deeper color in the uh, outer crease and then um May do a shimmer highlight, may not, may just finish it off. <laughs> oh, she wants it. Well, then we're going to definitely do a shimmer highlight because <laughs> she just requested a shimmer, okay? So now, just want to fix up, just blend it a little bit better. So I'm taking that color that we just put on the inner corner and just kind of blending it into that deeper color. All right, so it'll be a nice, even blend. We don't have any harsh lines, any stopping, because that's not cute. Honey, and you are cute. Okay. Cute. So what we're doing is just saturating the brush. And we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Like I said, start with your outer corner, you guys. <laughs> start with your outer corner, you guys. You want to make sure that you start with the outer corner first. And then bring it on in. Bring it on in. Don't leave that one. Okay. Yeah. Right Honey, bring it on in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to be doing the same thing over here. Just making sure that it's good and blended. We're taking it over just a smidgen. Smidget. What is the word? Smidgen. Smidgen. smidgen? Mm -hmm. Really? It's not smidget? No. I think that's a, What's that? like a, a, that a smidget? smaller midget. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Yes, we are going to use windshield wiper motions <laughs> when blending, okay? Windshield wiper doesn't do this, but if you had a car and the windshield wiper did this, you'd probably be a baller, okay? Because what <laughs> car? So I just want to keep doing this. <laughs> okay, but no, windshield wiper motions, back and forth and back and forth. And we're not going all the way into the deep because... We want to make sure that the brush kind of stays, you know, nice and clear of craziness. Okay, so that's good and blended. Now I'm going to go, like I said, and do a deeper crease. So I am going to use uh, this color here. It's a darker, almost, um, it's a darker, it's not a burgundy, it's more like a violet or a deep, deep violet, okay? So I'm going to saturate the same brush and just get it a little deeper. And I'm going to go right in the crease. I'm not going all the way because I like that blown out look that the color provides. So I'm just going to stop choking myself with this chain. <laughs> I was feeling a little Django. Okay, um, honey, I got to be unchained. So I am going to just put a little deepness right in that corner. Bam, right in that corner. 
Now, it may not look like much to you, but trust me, in the grand scheme of things, that little bit of deepness really helps. Deepness recedes um, and lightness brings forth. So we want to make sure that we're receding in that corner, okay, to give that beautiful almond shape some go, okay. Of course, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just deepening right in the crease. Very nice. Very nice. You want to make sure that you're blending to perfection. No hard lines, but we do want definition, okay? Remember that. No hard lines, but we definitely want to define. No hard lines. We have to define. Are you tearing yeah, that's my... Um, <laughs> That's my chant. Like if I ever go like on a picket line and stuff like that, it's like a makeup picket line. I'm like, no hard lines. We have to define, and that's. There will never be one of those. Oh no, never. Not a makeup picket. No. Why? Because makeup was gonna be. Oh, crazy. you know I'm gonna pick. You know I'm gonna pick it. Squiggly brows. Who? Did you see that up? crap? Who does that? Who does that? Facebook. I'm ashamed. I'm appalled, and I'm whatever else another word is. <laughs> I'm mad about squiggly brows. And the braided brow. Oh, the braided, braided brow. Honey. brow. Don't y'all ever tag me. In the, no, it was funny. I'm not. Whoever tagged me, thank you, because that was hilarious to see. Like, <laughs> the braided and the squiggly brow. Baby. I mean, for Halloween or something, you know. No. I don't know. Some costume party. I don't know. Who, what costume is that? Honey, I don't know. Weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody with just too much time on their hands for that braided brow. And they added color to it. Like, they actually... Baby. <laughs> and then some people took the squiggle, and they, like, squiggle all the way down for a sad burn. Hmm? Oh, I didn't see that one. I saw that squiggly sad burn, honey. And you saw the beard with the cut and the, the squiggle. <laughs> and I saw the, the man with the hairline yes. with the squiggle. Yeah, that's a fool, okay, <laughs> y'all? I know some people did it for fun, and it was very enjoyable to watch, but... Stop. The end. Cut that was out. great. That was great. Let's not try to do anything else. Okay, so we're nice and blended. We have our definition going on, all right? And we have our um, our beautiful blend going on from light to dark, okay? We just use three colors, okay? Because we're doing it nice, simple, and we're giving you a nice, elegant look, okay? So now we're going to go in, and we're actually going to start doing some liner, okay? So I'm going to use the same angle brush that I use for her brow, okay? And I'm going to use a cream liner, black cream liner. If you have a lighter skin tone, then you can definitely use a dark brown one, but I tend to use a black on, on most of my clients because it just really stands out. And most of my clients are either, take, either taking photographs or they are doing runway, you know, or, or something. Or just want to look fabulous. Or just want to look just extra fabulous, honey. So when they want something like that, then I'll definitely just do a black liner. Um, for a more natural client, then I will dive into like a dark brown or something like that. Um, if their complexion is fair. Okay, so I'm just going to get a nice amount on my brush. And make sure that the line is still nice and thin okay we do not want a thick liner unless you want a thick line you know i'm not talking about that thick line i'm just saying you know look. i'm just saying for what i'm doing right now you grab the air oh. yes grab it <laughs> i grab air okay so what i'm gonna do is have you look straight down um actually we'll have you close now Sometimes you'll have that client, they'll close, and then you won't, like, see anything. Like, you're like, what is going on? You've closed, and now you're all scrunched up, honey, and I can't get to anywhere. And then um, sometimes with an older client, they may close, and then they just might have, like, a lot of extra skin. I'm trying not to say wrinkles, but, you know, no, for real, like, in the eyebrow, you know, it'll be, like, a little wrinkly. So you'll have to, like, pull it up like that. Because you want to make sure, but I don't have to pull hers because she's not wrinkly yet. I'm saying um, you just pull yeah, me, you, feel like I'm you ain't hear me saying that she's not wrinkly yet. <laughs> but um, we're going to just go, so we're not going to do like 
a really um, dragged out look for her liner, okay? We're doing a little slight wing, nothing extra because this is all about defining the eye, okay? And I'm not trying to do, of course when you don't try to do too much, like too much just starts happening and then you're just stuck with too much, okay? So we're not stuck with too much, good. Mm -hmm. We have a nice cute little boop, little boop wing, we don't need all that extra wing. Not right now, not for this look. Since we're doing our nips up with the brush, we just want to make it nice and fabulous. Fabulous, okay. Now I'm going to have you look, open up, look straight down, and then look to your left, which is my right. <laughs> and um, then I'm going to be able to get in that inner corner, okay. And that's why you have your client do that. So it's really easy for you to just get in that inner corner, place your brush, and drag. Not clean, just drag your brush, okay? All right, now. You know, when I was younger, and I would go, like, somewhere, and um, I would have, like, a lot of makeup on because that's just what I did back in the 90s or early 2000s. Wow. And the biggest compliment ever was... When people were trying to hate, and they'd be like, you like a drag queen. I would be like, oh, mission completed. <laughs> That's just the way I used to roll, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that made me feel like I did it. I succeeded in life. That's what people do now, though, right? What's the drag look? Yeah. I mean, that's just the full face of makeup now, you know. <laughs> but back in the early early 2000s, late 90s, people weren't doing like full face of the makeup unless they were going somewhere, unless they were having like a um, show or something like that, and they would do the full face. But man, when somebody told me I was like a drag queen, I was like, I have mastered the skill. <laughs> I'm like, I'm for real now. I am. You have made it. I have made it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the ultimate compliment. Okay, so we're just doing the same thing on this side. You always want to make sure that you have a nice amount of product on your brush. Look down, mm -hmm. and then look to your right, which is my left. We're working. We're working. And you just pull and you pull it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna um we're gonna take this brush and spray it a bit because we still have excess on here. So we're not gonna dip it back into. We're not going to dip it back into um, the product. That's not sanitary unless you like wipe it and, and spray it down. But we, ha we still have a nice amount of product on this brush. So I'm going to ask you to look up. And then I'm going to go into the waterline with this cream. You can do this with the cream. I, will not, I would not suggest that you do this with a liquid. Because... It's gonna burn. It's just not gonna work. It's gonna run. I don't know. It's not gonna be good. Oh no, don't tear. Oh, gotta be very careful and angry. If the client tears, no big whoop. Whoop. No big Goldberg. No big deal. No big Goldberg. Okay. So, um, did it fall? No tears fell. So, okay, so we are basically finished with our eye portion. And <laughs> her eyes are lovely. Um, oh, she wanted shimmer. So we're not finished. All right. You I like the shimmer. I, I have, you know, I haven't been doing a lot of um, top shimmer lately. Right. Um, I don't know. Sexy. Yeah, it is. It's, it's fine. So. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So. So I'm going to um, take my application brush, this one here, just wipe it off a bit. It's the same one I had the concealer on earlier. And I'm going to take um, 
this powder here. It's a gold shimmer powder, a gold shimmer press powder. And then I'm going to just apply a little bit right under her brow, right on the brow bone. And I don't want to go into the um, color that we have. And that's why I'm using an application brush as opposed to a blending brush. Okay, I'm going to place it here. Wardrobe malfunction. Honey, wardrobe malfunction. Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake. No, no. <laughs> Janet Jackson! <laughs> no. Pasties, pasties! Okay. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? That was so back in the day. I'm like, oh my God. I think that was the first like planned wardrobe fun uh, malfunction. Or like something planned on live TV. I think it was planned. What do you think? I, I was going to say I'm glad somebody else agreed with that. Because yeah. First of all, it happened too fast. And yeah. <laughs> it was definitely, I think it was planned. It was a good old live TV. It was in the early 2000s, right? Right. Right when like social media and stuff was like really kicking off. And then he had like something come out like right after that happened. So. Right. Like a, <laughs> right, like a yeah. new video or something. <laughs> His new album, the Hug right. album came out. And they were all extra hot, so yeah. Okay, so we have a little pop of shimmer up there. She crew. Okay. So we're going to begin to correct. Y'all know I like to correct. I am going to use this orange corrector. I'm going to put a little bit on my sponge. Like so. Okay, and um, we know Nikki, y'all. Remember last time she didn't need a whole bunch of correction because, you know, her mom has those good genes and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. And, you know, so we're just going to lightly place, just um, shear it out. Now, listen here. If you are, um, if your complexion is lighter, then you will definitely need to use a lighter corrector. You don't want to use this orange corrector. Um, my little cousin in Memphis, hey Paula, um, <laughs> she is fair skin, and she tried to use this orange corrector, honey, and she was just looking like, um, who is somebody orange? <laughs> Never mind. I don't I'm know. Bird and Ernie. Oh, oh, your president! <laughs> She no, was looking no. like your orange president, huh? <laughs> All y'all's president, because my president is Barack still <laughs> holding on, baby. Okay, but, right, she was looking like your homeboy, DT. So, because I don't even want to say That's his name, my God. Hmm? That was the one that was here earlier, last week? Yeah, mm -hmm. Paula, uh-huh, yeah. She tried to use this and was like, my, I don't know what happened. And I was just <laughs> like, girl, you too light for that. You look like right. So, usually African American women have um, trouble around this area. I think they call it the muzzle area because it's where, like, yeah, yeah. I have a bad memory about muzzles. My, my cousin used to threaten to buy me a muzzle. But anyway, why would they do that? Because I talk way too much and they were way mean. This is my cousin Malik. If anybody knows Malik, he, you know how evil he is. Are you still trying to buy your muscle? No. Okay. He told, he his own problems. So anyway, um, here we go. Here we go. We're going to use this color. And if you are lighter complexion, you want to use peach corrector, which is what I hooked Miss Paula up with. It's a peach corrector, okay? It's, it has a little bit of orange in it, but it's for a fair skin tone. All right? So we have a corrector the areas in which most black women have a little problem with discoloration. We're going to spray. Y'all seen that video with a girl <laughs> like the makeup artist who just gives a shower and, <laughs> and then you like dripping and stuff. That's not me, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's my little stuff that I make. So I make my own spray. Yeah, it's in this bottle and we all know what bottle this is, but I make my own spray, all right? I make mm -hmm. it, and it's fat, and it smells really good, doesn't it, Nikki? It really does. Mm -hmm. Honey, and you can just spray it all around. You know, if you didn't take a shower, no, I'm just playing. No, please take a shower. Please. Just take a shower. Please. <laughs> please. Hey! I'm fresh. Okay. <laughs> all right, don't tell nobody I said that. Just do it. So, anywho, we sprayed her down. We gave her a nice mist. Before we go in, I'm going to use um, a new sponge. I'm not going to use the same one. You can. It's no big deal. You can use a separate sponge. You can use the same sponge, you know. So, 
whatever your choice is. I love to use sponges. People ask me, do I use beauty blenders and stuff like that? Try the beauty blender. Uh, it was okay, but I mean, I'm just really partial to my good old sponge. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's the kind of girl I am. All right, so I'm going to mix concealers um, because we want to do a highlight and we also want to conceal. So I'm going to go ahead and use... Um, a brown concealer with um, a red base. We don't want to use anything with um, a yellow base or a golden base because that's not going to look right. It's going to just give her that ashy tone again. And we just corrected ashy. <laughs> so. Wait, I was ashy? No, your tone. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. I'm no. just trying to figure just that out. A little lotion, a little cocoa butter. Can I use shea butter? Uh, Queen Helene? Remember oh, her? Wait, it's like water. Side. The whole Vaseline when you was little, before you went outside and just cover your face with Vaseline. To fight? No. Oh, because that's what we did. Well, we, I didn't fight. See, I just watched people fight. I didn't fight. I watched people because you, you I just had a big mouth. You was on the sideline? Yeah. Okay. I was that girl. So you started the fight and everybody No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I caused it. I didn't start that's it. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? started it. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so look up and we're going to dot, dot. I use a lighter one and then I use um, one that was a little more brown. All right, and I'm just putting it on just to make sure that it gives a nice coverage. And then I'm going to use the edge of my sponge. That's why I like sponges, they have hard edges. And I can really get up, you know, with the beauty blender, I feel like I can't get in the spaces that I need to get in. So, and I just cut it like, honey, baby, you got to give that line. See, we don't need tape. We got concealer. What do you want to do with your life, okay? You want to conceal. That's what you want to do. All right, I've answered your question. So. Are you guys still coming in the room, honey? Because, yes, come on in this good room and learn these good makeup techniques. Did you guys like my little intro? I'm working on some intro, so I hope that intro was cool. Just sharing a little bit about my life and my faith with you all. So, I appreciate you all so much. If I haven't told you enough, if I didn't tell you enough last season, I'm just going to sprinkle you with love and accolades this season i appreciate you guys so much please continue to share this video you know so we can get it cracking all right so we got this whole side done nice 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 and we're gonna go ahead and complete this side Look up for me awesome and we do i i do eyes first you know we you, you can you can do um, face first, you know, it just depends on your comfortability level. <laughs> you, you, you try. I try. You try. It depends on your comfort it. level, how comfortable you are with doing it. Oh so, you know, you have to practice, you know, whatever floats your boat. It's not a wrong and a right way to do it. Some people swear by doing the face um, first and then doing the eye, and then some people swear by the opposite. So it is whatever. You have to look at your work. Isn't it more work than in the eyes, though? Say it again. Isn't it more work on the eyes? Don't you do that first? Um, sometimes, sometimes you can really spend a lot of time on face. Like I'm, I, I, I think I spend more time on face. Mm -hmm. Um, it depends the on the look. Okay. Definitely depends on the look. Okay, then we want to hit these high points. So highlighting, we definitely want to make sure that we are hitting the highlighted points. And then, of course, the bake that everyone just loves to do is just setting. <laughs> it's a setting powder. So we're going to use this loose setting powder to set her with, okay? I don't even think people say bake anymore. Like... These trends, they come and they go, these, this talk. It's the same thing, right? It's, yeah, it's just okay. setting. We're just setting, because I just told you earlier that every cream and liquid basically needs to be set. Mm -hmm. Look up for me. So we're just going to press this loose powder into the concealer that we just put on. What this is going to do is set your makeup for the night. So that if you have a bride or if you are a bride, 
and you cry, it the tears will run right down your face because we have packed on that makeup so beautifully <laughs> and blended it so beautifully that it's not going anywhere, okay? Honey, you didn't got filled at church and you just get to crying and slinging your hair everywhere, honey. Make sure your wig is tacked down first, okay? And then you want to make sure your makeup is right. Because I know, you know, if I, a lot of times I haven't um, set my makeup properly, I haven't just ran up out the house trying to get to church, honey. And the Holy Spirit didn't call me, and it's over for. <laughs> honey, I was going to mess at the end, but that's okay. It's Jesus saves. He even saves your makeup. Okay. <laughs> so. You should turn it into this lovely. What? Jesus saves your makeup. He, he even saves your makeup. Yes, he even saves your makeup. He does, honey. He does. He will keep your makeup in perfect peace. Don't take that. She's going to patent it. So. I'm patent. Don't, don't take that. Okay. I'm going to put on a t-shirt. Oh, I'm going to have it on my... I'm going to do a t-shirt, but you know I'm going to do it on my... On my um, what's it called? When I go out... The, the the picket, like. Yeah, the picket. The makeup picket. I'm gonna have Jesus say, well, I don't know, but I'm gonna start a makeup picket. <laughs> okay. Who's with me? Oh, let's people. pick it something for the people to do it wrong. For the people, yes. Okay. Let's pick it squiggly brows, <laughs> let's pick it braided brows, and please let's pick it halo. Halo is the first picket because I don't like halo brows. If I haven't told you that before, if you don't know, now no, you know. Halo. no halo, no Beyonce, no Beyonce brow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Now we're going to go with a beautiful highlight down the center of the nose. So I better use my right hand because I better use my right hand because it won't be centered if I don't, honey. Okay, so we are Bam, right down the center of that beautiful nose. Honey, we are going to give you an MJ Brown. <laughs> Honey, a Michael Jackson. When I got the money nose. Honey, you got that money. As long as we don't give you a Reby, you good. I'm just playing. Reby, where is she? Like, she's just heading out. Reby was like, you know what? I wrote that book to be in. Okay. She wrote a book? Yeah, Reby wrote a book. You know the, um, you know the, the real word, the real word, the real word on the street is that Janet Jackson had a baby that had the barge and Reby raised it. Remember oh, that? yeah. Everybody remember that. Reby raised that baby. So, so a grown so woman by the name. So this is Janet's second child. Mm. But mm. you're not supposed to know that though. Speaking of children, why is Kanye pumping that girl full of babies? Was she pregnant again? Well, <sighs> they're having their third child, but it's going to be a surrogate. Oh. Why would you have two babies and then be like, you know what? I mean, unless it's medical. No. Right. So, <laughs> no. I'm going to use this darker color for her contour, okay? But unless it's medical, I'm just like, but I mean, he, he pumping her with babies. I think she just don't want to um, destroy her body anymore. Destroy? It, what's wrong with her body? And she got trainers up the yin-yang. Like, are you kidding me? she got with the last one? So? <laughs> you see, do you see the way she look now? Like, she ain't even had no babies. I'll smack him Kardashian. Mm -hmm. I said it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> so, with contour, we want to make sure that we keep... It. We don't want to... Okay, so this is where a lot of people mess up with contouring. They go, like, they leave a big white line, and then they go over here and go over here. You're just making your nose look wider. Okay, and that's not gonna work. If if you want to contour, it's not gonna work. Now, if you want to make your nose look wider, fine, do that. But to contour, to actually have the nose have make the nose have a slim appearance, make sure that we're not opposite. But to make the nose have a slim appearance, then you want to. I'm sorry. To make sure the nose has a slim appearance, then you want to make sure that little line, you know, is how it's supposed to be, okay? We don't want 
anything like making it larger. I have to fix that up on a little bit. But yeah, when you're contouring the nose, like contour the nose. Like don't follow the nose structure. If that's the case, what are you contouring for? Alright, so I just have to even her out a bit. No biggie. I told you all, if you do this contouring of this nose wrong, honey, she gonna look like she gotta be up, and we ain't got time to be trying to mm -hmm. bail Junior out of jail for nothing he didn't do. <laughs> they like, girl, we broke your nose. I'm like, now my brother. No, we do like I broke it. Break. I'm like, I broke it. I know, right? Okay, so we're gonna use the same color. We're gonna go in with. A blending contouring of the cheek, okay? I love it. Yes, it pops those cheekbones right on out. And then we just go into the hairline too, to just give it a more natural effect. And yes, we have a Lion King look going on right <laughs> now. But that's okay because we got to look like the Lion King before we look like a beauty queen. Patented, don't do me. <laughs> another shirt. Honey, Pick another Ryan. shirt for the picket line and the sand, baby. Lion King before Beauty Queen. Now this, you also want to make sure that you are... <laughs> you also want to make sure that you are matching up cheekbones. So we will drop that down a little bit and begin to blend her on out. Yes, push that back into that hairline. Mm -hmm. Drop that. It's a little deeper. Yeah, I hate when people have their makeup stop and it's like they didn't see their hair. Like the yeah, yeah. And sometimes you can even go in the ears too. It just depends on what kind of hairstyle the person's going to have. Okay. If they're going to have like an updo, then you want to make sure you know, you want to make sure that ear is good too. Okay, now we're going to begin to contour. The chin area. And <laughs> we're gonna get rid of it, honey. This is nip tuck, okay? So we're gonna make sure we're going with a deeper color all around this area to give it the appearance. To give it the appearance of a nip tuck, honey. No double chin. No double chin. We're getting rid of her. So I'm going in with like a black first and I'm cool um, warming it up. I'm sorry because the black is cool, but I'm warming it up with the brown, with a really deep brown, okay? And then we're going to take our sponge and just kind of lift some of it because we just want the illusion. And this is definitely gonna provide a wonderful okay. Okay, a wing away. So, <laughs> all we my way. All right. So now, what I'm going to do is dust away the powder that she has been setting with. Look up, and just dust, dust, dust. Okay, because it it is set. It's beautifully set. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Alright, set, wonderful, no excess dust, just put it there, alright, good, 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 alright, now we will begin to do, go ahead, that tickle, good, 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 tickle, tickle, okay, so now we begin to do foundation, we want to make sure that we have a nice, Warm foundation because we don't want her to look ashy at all, okay? No ashiness. We want to look classy, not ashy. All right. I, I can't, I can't. Sharp. You can't what? I don't want to look casket sharp. Honey. <laughs> honey, the person in the casket don't want to look casket sharp. I bet you if half these people who are looking all crazy in their caskets could come back, then, okay. Then you know, oh Lord, honey, they will come back with a vengeance. <laughs> okay, so 
what we're going to do is just begin to blend out where we are. Blend, blend, blend. All right, and I like to hit the areas that don't have any makeup. So between the highlight and the contour, we're just gonna start start there to blend, all right? Now do the forehead area right in the middle. And then we'll do this side. Start blending cut her out. Get that chin up. I am using this color. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys. It is um, a nice brown color with a red undertone. Red undertone warms things up. Have you looking nice and natural. And we want to dot, dot, dot on that nose area because we don't want too much white because we've done a lot of work on that nose, honey. We did some work, honey, on that nose, okay? Went to Janet, Janet Jackson surgeon on his nose. We didn't go to Little Kim's. We went to Janet's, okay? Thank you. And she I love she... Auntie Vivica, but we didn't go to her surgeon either. She was Because of boo bath. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay. And we just pat, pat, pat to blend it, all right? All right. And now we can begin to kind of take it down. And we still want to pat, pat, pat down here, all right? Little, a little whip, but more pats, all right? A little whipping work, but a little, a little more padding, okay? All right, so, I have used a liquid. Um, it is um, said to be a liquid to powder foundation, but, Y'all yeah, know I'm going to still set her with a little bit of powder because I don't play that. All right? I don't play that game. All right? That's a game I don't play. It. So we have that going on. I'm going to take my little small brush. I'm just going to get in some corners just to make sure everything is beautifully blended. All right? We don't want it to look a mess. We don't want people to go around where you can see that contour. That's not cute. <laughs> That's not cute when we see it, honey. It's supposed to be hidden. It's a hidden figure, okay? I went to NASA. <laughs> I went to NASA and I felt all hidden figures. Okay. So, that's that. Then we're going to go in with a little bit of a lighter shade. Um, just like one step lighter up here just to blend in her highlight, all right? Because we don't want it to just jump from boom, boom, boom. We still had to do a blend, y'all. And I used the, her regular color first, and I'm using this little bit, look up for me, using this lighter color because I still have a little bit of the regular color on her brush. Now what I'm doing here is just kind of dabbing. Not, not that dab, but, you know, not that dance dab. <laughs> not the dance dab. Not the dance dab, but the makeup dab, okay? So we're doing a little dab. Tampa, Tampa, Tampa. Simpson, that's Okay. And we're making sure that that is nice and blended, especially under that eye. Okay? Man. Yes, honey. <laughs> Woo! Gets excited. Gets excited about the makeups. So I have a question. That's on the end. Yes, honey. Give me questions. When you're doing a bride's makeup, mm -hmm. what determines, like, is it the style of her dress or does she come to you or yes. you just... Yeah, usually the bride is going to tell me what she prefers. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go by what the bride, you know, tells me to do. Now, I will definitely let her know if she shows me a picture. Um, by the way, I don't know. I'm, am I the only makeup artist but pictures? And it don't really work for me because that's not your eye shape. And it's not going to really turn out like that unless you have that eye shape. So, y'all can tell me, like, your color scheme and then I'm going to work it out. But anyway, the bride, you know, can say, you know, well, I like a natural look. You know, but that's why it's always good to have a consultation. 
because then I can, um, you know, we can do a couple of different looks, and then you can let me know, okay, this is the look we want for your day, you know, for the day, okay. you know. Um, yeah, the dress, if the hair's going to be up, the hair's going to be down, it's going to always be some different, you know, something different. I'm sorry, so we've just set that <laughs> with a foundation powder. This is not a mineral powder, it's an actual foundation powder. So that's what we've just set that with, okay? So, now we're going to go in with another foundation powder. It's deeper than her skin tone. And we are going to go in for... Um, a contour so we're going to powder that contour we've done a cream contour and now we're going to just reinforce that contour with a powder okay just to make sure we got it going on okay and then the powder is not going to give such a hard line okay but it's going to reinforce that contour we already have okay so now we are getting ready to do our cheek area, accentuate the cheeks, okay? So we're going, we already did our contour on the cheeks. <clears throat> so now we're going to take the same brush we just used to do our contour powder with, and I'm going to tap into this orange blush. It's going to be a little excess on there, so we just want to knock that off. All right, and then we're going to go right where, turn this way a little bit, right where the contour and the highlight meets, okay? And we're going to go right in there with our orangey color, all right? Now, with blush, you can kind of use, you know, whatever color, you use your pink, your orange, whatever. Like, since we're doing a natural tone, I'm just going to use kind of an orangey color today. And I like to kind of go up and blend it out. I always got to blend it, honey. If it's not blended, what are we doing? Are we doing makeup or are we doing face painting? <laughs> That's what I'm we trying to say. Paints. Honey, are we doing finger paints or are we doing grown women makeup? Okay. I like grown women makeup, all right? All right, so go ahead and get that nice, orange blended on out there beautiful so now we're going to take our little refresher spray i'm going to spray my brush boop 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 and i'm going to go into my highlight powder with the wet brush see got a little shine to it and we're just going to pat right on that cheekbone bring it up Bring it around. All right. When I wet the brush, then that really helps. Um, and then you could always turn it over and just kind of correct if you need to. But you want to pat that highlight on. Okay. Very nice. Gonna spray again and do the other side. All righty. Pat, pat, right where that line meets. <clears throat> and give it a nice, good shine there. And just clean it up. You don't want it to go too far down because that's just not acceptable. It's just not acceptable, people, okay? It's just not going to work, okay? And then, what we also like to do is take a smaller brush spray take the powder once again and just kind of go down the bridge of the nose right in the center to kind of accentuate that highlight and then you can do the peaks of the lips as well All right you just want to blend that out. Oh, sorry. Just, just kind of pat so it won't be too much, you know, but just enough. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and do her lashes. But first, I am going to put a little mascara on her actual lashes. Because, um, you know, while in the process of doing the makeup, I'm sure that some 
fallout has occurred from her eyeshadow. So we just want to go ahead and correct that. So look straight down. Yeah. So you don't want them to close. But we're not really trying to too much put mascara on, but we are trying to just um, get some of that fall off, fall out off of her lashes. Okay. So we'll do a windshield wiper on her lashes. I'm going to turn the wand down and wipe, and then we're going to go on top and wipe. Okay, that's just to make sure that... Mm -hmm. We've cleaned up any fallout that has occurred. All right. We're going to go ahead and use our lashes here. I am. Okay. So we're going to use the little one that we just used for her mascara. And we're going to use the back of it to apply the glue which I have on the lash. These are number 43s. So, and we're gonna just, I'm gonna show you what we're doing. So we're gonna just take the band of the lash, okay, and we're gonna very slightly put it right on the actual band. Okay, and if any like gets on the last lash, then you can just kind of wipe it off. But you don't want to wipe too hard because you don't want to mess up the whole lash. Okay, so and then if you get glue on your hands, like ew, all you gotta do is do like that and it'll come off. Okay, side. Okay, so look straight down. You don't want your client to close because if they close, you can um, accidentally, you know, close the lids with the glue. So just have them look down. That'll help to stretch the lid and then it'll help to have you get the lash on. Now, I like to make sure that the inner corner is attached first. As you can see, the inner corner is attached. And when it's good and attached and on there, you take this end half and you just pull it back slightly. And that gives the eye... A slanted up here, Prince. <laughs> a slanted appearance. Okay. So. And then have your client open. Yep. And then you can kind of squeeze it into the natural lash too. Okay. There we go, honey. Oh, you see that difference? Oh. <laughs> yes. Not yet. Yes. Ooh. Not yet. <laughs> okay. Yes, she's very yes over here. All right, we're going to just do the same thing with the left lash. Have you ever put on lashes? Well, I've, I've done it before. I put the left lash on the right eye, and I was like, oops. <laughs> that don't look right. You just created a new look, that's all. Girl, it was a mess. I just took them off. I just switched them. No big deal. I was like, wait, what am I doing? Because this is wrong. You just made a new look. Yeah, yeah, right. If they can do squiggly eyebrows, I... Know, right? I you can switch your, like, the lashes up. Honey, if they can do squiggly eyebrows, I can do whatever I want to do. <laughs> okay? Honey, it's a free country. Kind of. Okay, so you have her looking down. You're going to connect the inner corner first. You're going to let it set and get tacky a bit. Right. And then we're going to just pull back just a bit to shape that eye. Alright. Look up. Very good. And squeeze, squeeze. Okay. Very nice. Beautiful. Alright, now we'll do lips. And then we'll get this hair together. And then we will be all done so for lips i am going to for lips i am going to use this burgundy pencil um i usually spray the pencils um when you sharpen them and sanitize them i spray it with this just so i can have a nice um it'll go on a little bit easier okay so i'll just start at the bottom
And we're just going to go um, in her natural lip shape. We're not trying to do anything over her lip shape. She has nice, perfect lips, so we're going to keep them as is. Should we get those peaks? Perfect lip peaks. Mm -hmm. Perfect peaks. Okay, we're going to fill in just a little bit. Not too much. Just the outer corners will do a nice fill in. Just so it'll have a nice ombre effect. Everything must be blended, remember. Okay. All right. So we have a nice blended. We're going to take our application brush. We're back into our concealer palette. We're going to go ahead and do this color. Okay. And then we're going to just pat right in the center. This is going to give that lip a beautiful ombre effect. A more natural effect. Block for me. Mm-hmm. It's going to give her a natural effect. It's going to, the pencil is going to bleed into the concealer. So that way, well, that's where the, most of the color is going to come from. Flat for me. And then I'm also going to go in with a pink creamy gloss. Okay. So I'm kind of just, I'm going everywhere, but I'm really concentrating where the gloss, I mean where the lipstick, or the concealer I should say, and the liner kind of meets. Black. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Great cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you is cute and cute and cute. I'm just going to go under here, clean up a bit. Smooth that out a bit. And as you can see, that ombre effect we were talking about. But we do want to make sure that that line is not seen. So we'll just go all the way up. Blot again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then, you know, as um, as you get to talking and all that good stuff, mm -hmm. everything will be nice and blended and look more natural. Okay. All right, let me stop because I can spend like all day on this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this is our look. Our completed look as far as makeup goes, okay? So, you guys, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere because we are going to see Nikki's full transformation, okay? We're going to go ahead and get this hair together, honey. And then we're going to take some pictures. So, stick around. Um, well, actually, you're going to just see it, like, in a second. So, oh, we're back. And here we have our finished product Miss Nikki so uh, we are all done we have Miss Nikki with her U part wig we all know her hair is very natural and beautiful all we did was um, made a nice U parting and flat ironed it down no chemicals of course honey so, this is um, uh, virgin Indian hair, and it's a beautiful you part wig that I made me down. So, I hope you all enjoyed um, episode one of season two. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, it's always a pleasure to show you all, you know, the new techniques, tricks, 
and just, you know, the classic things, okay? So thank you all once again. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And come on back to the room next time, all right? We'll see you all soon. Peace.